Brought to you by Wikivi Documentaries. Stoicism. Stoicism is a school of Hellenistic philosophy that flourished throughout the Roman and Greek world or until the 3rd century AD. Stoicism is predominantly a philosophy of personal ethics which is informed by its system of logic and its views on the natural world. According to its teachings, as social beings, the path to happiness for humans is found in accepting that which we have been given in life by not allowing ourselves to be controlled by our desire for pleasure or our fear of pain, by using our minds to understand the world around us and to do our part in nature's plan, and by working together and treating others in a fair and just manner. It was founded in Athens by Zeno of Citium in the early 3rd century BC. The Stoics taught that emotions resulted in errors of judgment which were destructive due to the active relationship between cosmic determinism and human freedom, and the belief that it is virtuous to maintain a will that is in accord with nature. Because of this, the Stoics presented their philosophy as a way of life, and they thought that the best indication of an individual's philosophy was not what a person said but how that person behaved. To live a good life, one had to understand the rules of the natural order, since they taught that everything was rooted in nature. Later Stoics, such as Seneca and Epictetus, emphasized that, because virtue is sufficient for happiness, a sage was immune to misfortune. This belief is similar to the meaning of the phrase, Stoic calm though the phrase does not include the radical ethical stoic views that only a sage can be considered truly free, and that all moral corruptions are equally vicious. From its founding, stoic doctrine was popular during the Roman Empire, and its adherents included the Emperor Marcus Aurelius. It later experienced a decline after Christianity became the state religion in the 4th century. Over the centuries, it has seen revivals, notably in the Renaissance and in the modern era. Etymology Stoic comes from the Greek stikos, meaning of the portico. In turn, comes from stoa, the painted portico, in reference to where the influential Stoic Zeno of Citium taught, his front porch basic tenets. The Stoics provided a unified account of the world, consisting of formal logic, monistic physics, and naturalistic ethics. Of these, they emphasized ethics as the main focus of human knowledge, though the logical theories were of more interest for later philosophers. Stoicism teaches the development of self-control and fortitude as a means of overcoming destructive emotions. The philosophy holds that becoming a clear and unbiased thinker allows one to understand the universal reason. A primary aspect of Stoicism involves improving the individual's ethical and moral well-being. Virtue consists in a will that is in agreement with nature. This principle also applies to the realm of interpersonal relationships, to be free from anger, envy, and jealousy, and to accept even slaves as equals of other men, because all men are like a products of nature. The Stoic ethic espouses a deterministic perspective, in regard to those who lack Stoic virtue. Cleaners once opined that the wicked man is, like a dog tied to a cart, and compelled to go wherever it goes. A Stoic of virtue, by contrast, would demand his will to suit the world, and remain, in the words of Epictetus, sick and yet happy, in peril and yet happy, dying and yet happy, in exile and happy, in disgrace and happy, thus positing a completely autonomous individual will, and at the same time a universe that is a rigidly deterministic single whole. This viewpoint was later described as classical pantheism. 
Stoicism became the foremost popular philosophy among the educated elite in the Hellenistic world and the Roman Empire, to the point where, in the words of Gilbert Murray, nearly all the successors of Alexander professed themselves Stoics. Propositional logic Diodorus Cronus, who was one of Zeno's teachers, is considered the philosopher who first introduced and developed an approach to logic now known as propositional logic. This is an approach to logic based on statements, or propositions, rather than terms, making it very different from Aristotle's term logic. Later, Chrysippus developed a system that became known as Stoic logic and included a deductive system, Stoic syllogistic, which was considered a rival to Aristotle's syllogistic. New interest in Stoic logic came in the 20th century, when important developments in logic were based on propositional logic. Suzanne Bobzine wrote, The many close similarities between Chrysippus's philosophical logic and that of Gottlob Frege are especially striking. Bobzine also notes that, Chrysippus wrote, over 300 books on logic, on virtually any topic logic today concerns itself with, including speech act theory, sentence analysis, singular and plural expressions, types of predicates, indexicals, existential propositions, sentential connectives, negations, disjunctions, conditionals, logical consequence, valid argument forms, theory of deduction, propositional logic, modal logic, tense logic, epistemic logic, logic of suppositions, logic of imperatives, ambiguity and logical paradoxes. Categories The Stoics held that all being though not all things is material, they accepted the distinction between concrete bodies and abstract ones, but rejected Aristotle's belief that purely incorporeal being exists. Thus, they accepted Anaxagoras' idea that if an object is hot, it is because some part of a universal heat body had entered the object. But, unlike Aristotle, they extended the idea to cover all accidents, Thus if an object is red, it would be because some part of a universal red body had entered the object. They held that there were four categories, the primary matter, formless substance, that things are made of, the way matter is organized to form an individual object. In Stoic physics, a physical ingredient, which informs the matter, particular characteristics, not present within the object, such as size, shape, action, and posture, characteristics related to other phenomena, such as the position of an object within time and space relative to other objects. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.